Welcome, Sag, to your September love bonus reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So if you are new, how we do things here is we're going to use the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and at the end of the reading, we are going to use the Lovers of Oracles. I do love this deck. It's called The Hidden Truth. I feel like it's more in-depth in your person's true feelings as we have the Messages of Love Oracles we're going to pull and the Divine Love Oracles here which I feel brings more clarity. So let's go ahead and jump right into your bonus reading and see what is coming in for Sagittarius. We have the Dawn of Swords in reverse. Wow. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be. Ooh, we have the Tower. Hmm. Interesting. The Ace of Cups. The Nine of Rings. Spirit of Rings. And the Two of Wands. Okay. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take whoa, what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the chariot number seven on the bottom of the deck. That's a major arcana. That's awesome. Okay. So we have the queen of swords coming in in your energy, the seven of swords coming in into your person's energy. We have the hangman, the two of swords the Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, the Tower. So you don't see this coming, okay? Three of Cups. I mean, this could have happened past, present, or something you're coming out of, but it's in the position where you don't see this coming. And the uh, Tower is also the unexpected, okay? Um, we do have the Judgment card, the Queen of Wands, and Temperance. So that's for you to know. Big message. There was definitely a fallout here, Sagittarius, as something that looked solid long term. You probably saw a future with this individual to now you're kind of looking at yourself single, independent, whole, right? Um, financially stable, very independent, really don't need anybody. Um, I feel here I, this tower could have been caused from dishonesty, some betrayal, some lies. Uh, maybe somebody got caught cheating or lying here uh, because the tower is... As you can see, it's it's falling down like lightning and everything is here. I'll show you the card really quick. Lightning is um, coming down on this tower, okay? And it says disruption and conflict. So there's definitely something unexpected that has happened. Maybe blindsided you in a way um, with the love situation. Now, even though you're a fire sign, you could be carrying this energy of the queen of swords. And this is literally telling your person you you see that this person is lying has betrayed you with a seven of swords energy in their position and before surrendering right the situation there is direct contact i feel of not wanting any bs from this individual you're seeing clearly and it looks like you're wanting nothing but the truth so this person whatever they say or they're operating from you're going to see that because you're very intuitive and intelligent um, within the situation yes this is very painful um it, i mean this could be a marriage also um, and it's causing a lot of conflict here. Now, this also could be endings, um, but I feel with the, the hangman that this could have been fresh, okay? Because the hangman here is in the challenge. So it's stagnant. It's no, it's like not surrendering as of yet, but it's in the process. So I feel like you are being cold to this individual um, because of what they did, which you have every right to, and setting some boundaries here. Because the queen wants nothing but the truth. She only wants the truth. She doesn't want it to be us. Um, she doesn't beat around the bush. She says it how it is, okay? And she sees it. She sees things for what they are. Um, and this person could be very sneaky uh, when be, when they're communicating. Now, the two of swords, again, is could be avoidance. Um, could be, you know, want, wanting to see the truth here. And this this could uh, be not talking either, okay? But there's an indecision making as to why the hangman is here in the challenge because it's no longer surrendering or letting go as of yet. 
the Hierophant, again, could be a marriage. Um, but this is also reconnecting with your spirituality. I feel like this person is wanting to come in to collaborate something with you. But what you don't see coming is a tower. And it could be because of a third party situation. Possibly some cheating, lying, or maybe talking to an individual. But this person definitely got caught with the Seven of Swords and their energy. Very clear message here for Sagittarius. An awakening is coming in. Judgment is here as you have the Two of Wands. Okay. Um, this is independence and achieving it with that chariot card. This is being very, very strong within the situation and, you know, making a decision that's best for you. Um, because what you're going through is not easy. Whoever's going through this is, you know, this is a very hard situation and very unexpected. And as to why I feel like maybe you guys are this tower already happened and you're in the stagnant stage. Okay, and it could be at this two of wands energy. Seeing what seeing what path you want to take. Okay. Is this something that you can forgive and move on from? Or is this something that you want to start a fresh new start? Because I already feel like you're 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 no you're like lost faith of what the vision was for your future with this person um, as to why you're at this two of wands energy. That's for some of you. Tower is very unexpected, but the tower, the hangman usually comes right after a tower. So again, that could have, have already happened for you guys as you're here making a judgment call. This person's probably wanting a second chance here, but you're standing your ground. You're very attractive. You're inspiring. You're loving competent individual who knows their worth and i feel like you are gaining uh, restoring balance within your life okay um and this is all about desiring for peace and having patience now very strong reading for sag let's see what this person has to say to you i don't know what's next and i hide my feelings they know they are in the wrong okay even though they may not communicate or avoid and not take any responsibility which is immature, childish. I mean, they're already operating from that Seven of Swords energy, right? And you're, you're seeing right through that. Um, yeah, that can that could be why they, they're saying, I, I hide my feelings. I don't know what comes next, okay? They have no idea. But judgment is here. Oh, look at You broke my heart, and you didn't see my tears, and I see life differently now. Um, you could be dealing with a very strong manipulator here. Okay, they could be trying to turn this around on you. Now, if this is a marriage, this is, good. This is very hard for sure. I mean, any relationship is going to be hard if there's any betrayal in it. But there's there's the decisions here. Um, and clearly because of this tower moment. But the judgment is like your angels guiding you. That synchronicity this is knowing what you have to do. This is a judgment call for, uh, for Sag. And I feel like this is more of an awakening for as you're coming out so strong in the reading as to what why the chariots here is overcoming challenges facing them head on um, and finding you know the solution of the problem and now moving towards the best path for you on what makes you happy right um, so I do feel like with that judgment you're getting more called to the future okay now let's get the divine love oracles and see what else is coming in Mirroring, you are reflecting the hidden fears, thoughts, and emotions of your partner. Take what resonates with these readings. An alter alternate course of action is needed to move past the roadblocks. Healing. There are still open wounds that need time and attention to heal. Yeah, that's why I feel like temperance is here, like patience, give yourself time, you know, uh, especially here. And then lessons, this is a teaching moment. Just feel like you have gained a lot of experience and it expands your growth, right? It, it, it's more of an expansion in your life, um, I feel. I feel like you're the one that's charging forward. This person can stay in their lives and avoid the situation all they want, but you are staying in your power with your spirituality and you have that chariot here, which shows that you have the will, you know, you have the will to, to, con to move forward from this. This is victory for you. 
strong, strong reading. Oh, okay. Well, that just came out of my hand. Maybe it wanted me to see the bottom. Yeah, it says secrets. <laughs> this connection is affected by hidden factors that are unknown and unseen by the other person. That is the tower. Lessons tower. Okay. So this person may have had a lot of secrets holding a lot from, from you here. Um, let's get the messages of love oracle. See, see what else we have coming in. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Let's get another one. Wait. The timing is quite is not quite right in abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. The universe is definitely guiding you, you know, here. Um, what happens after a tower, a tower? Resilience. Okay, so somebody could be turning their pain into power as to why you have this chariot card. So let's go ahead and get the lovers of oracles to close out the reading for you guys. Clean this up for a second. Let's see what card comes out for you. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. A lot of you guys could be starting off something or maybe um, building into something more here. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events you are in your life. Through tur to turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Then we have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply simply allows and gives. All right. Again, take what resonates with this reading. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here for you, Sagittarius. If you do like this reading or if it helps in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.